is going on everybody welcome back to the channel i am at cypress lawn memorial park here in colma california um, i'm over at the mausoleum slash columbarium and there is a section or sections that are locked to the public um, it's sections a through g i do believe it was um, and you have to go down to the office to get a key and leave your ID to be let inside of here. Um, I was told for, you know, because it's super old for historical value, I guess they kind of want to monitor who goes in and out of this place. So you got to go down to the office, leave your ID and get a key and come back up and unlock it and go in. So there's going to be three different doors here I'm going to be going into to explore. I have seen pictures of this columbarium slash mausoleum or this section um, online before and the pictures of the, of the stained glass and everything are truly stunning. So let's go down to the office and get the key. Well, I just got out of the office. I had to give them my ID and I have the key to that section of the mausoleum. Now, when I was in there, um, I was uh, looking around and I neglected to ask them why they require like you to go in there and give your ID special to get a key to those sections. but. From what I've seen online, it is totally worth it. So let's go up to the top and um, get this uh, party rolling. And on top of which, being that I have the key, and it, that section is basically closed off to the public unless you have the key, we're gonna have that section all to ourselves. I'm stoked. I have seen, uh, there, I know there's a, I think there's a silent film actress that's in there and some other stuff. I'm gonna look around in there. I'm excited uh, to go. Huh, it's the moment of truth here, guys. Yeah. There you go. So it's all a columbarium. I thought it was it was both, but it's um it's just all a columbarium. It looks like. Damn. Look at this sick, crazy, stained glass in this place. Jesus. This is incredible. This is, damn, I know I just keep saying this is incredible, but this is incredible. And we have it all to ourselves. There's just room upon room in here. Oh my God. Damn. Christian, 1871 to 1927, and it looks like Lloyd, 1906 to 1914, Monisa, 1878 to 1955, jeez. Oh, boy. This one could have been probably its own video.
it's probably, I bet you it's pretty expensive to be put in here. There's a few spots that are open, as you can see around the room here. Fisher Ames. his mother and father. I know there's a glare off the glass here. Elizabeth, 1879 to, what, 1918, I think that it says. Whoa. This is a big old family one here. Is it Monet? What's that name? Rose, January 20th, 1912. Lewis, January 23rd, 1914. Emma, May 3rd, 1917. Stephen A. Bliss, October 11th, 1931. Clementine, Monet Bliss, January 29th, 1939. But look at the lettering on this stuff. This is probably the most awesome columbarium I have found yet. And there's, I got the keys here, and there's couple more sections I do believe as well but what drew me into this place when I was when I was looking online was this stained glass there's a pane missing right there but this insane stained glass and I'm back in section EFG I'm looking for actress Blanche Bates I think she's over here yes she is is the final resting place of Blanche Bates. She was born August 25th, 1873 and died December 25th, 1941. She was born in Oregon and died in San Francisco. And um, she created the title role in David Belasco's play, The Girl of the Golden West, 1905. She was also known for roles with the companies of Augustin Daly and Charles Foreman. She created the title role in John Long's one-act play, Madam Butterfly, 1900. She starred in Under Two Flags, 1901, and The Darling of the Gods in 1902. And I'd also read she achieved that dream of being a teacher by becoming a kindergarten teacher. And then her career took a change when she got into acting. Wow. And it said um, when she died, she, uh, in 1941, she died in San Francisco and she had a stroke six months earlier. So obvious health problems and stuff uh, regarding all that. And it looks as though her parents, both of whom were actors, they were a road tour. And as an infant, it says she traveled with them on a tour of Australia before they returned to live in San Francisco. And it says, I guess when she was a young girl, she wanted to be a teacher. Let's go over to section CD. Oh, am I going the wrong way, is it? I think I got it this way. Ooh, Nelly. Locking myself in. This doesn't look as 
old is the last one. This one looks like it could be possibly a moon dealer or just maybe a different design. A lot of these don't even have um, any dates on them, just names. Interesting. This one has dates. Walder is the last name. Matthews, 1880 1959. Anna, 1882 to 1927. Randolph F, 1922 to 1930. And Sam Jackson, 1866 to 1934. It's etched kind of light, so I'm not sure how easy you guys are going to be able to see this one. But Jesus. Okay, this is a combo. This is a mausoleum as well. Helen C. Dixon, July 12th, 1935. Hetty Moyes, September 15th, 1933. And then here's the uh, other side of the hallways, the columbarium side, I guess. Was that Carrie Short? Eleanor Short. It's kind of hard to see the, the containers in here because the glare. But these are some very unique containers. This is just insane. And Jacoby. I'll try to get away from the side here. Maybe I can get better shots at it. But I'm not like directly in front of it. Probably the reason why they don't require it to be open to the public is probably because they want to be able to monitor. Maybe they're afraid of some kind of uh, vandalism or robbery or something. But Miriam Westerman. I like how they have the little ledges for stuff. Now let's go to section, mausoleum section A, B. Let's check this out. First section we went into that was the straight columbarium that was the most impressive section that looks like super vintage up in there but these are actually really old Alice L. Foy June 7th 1918 Elizabeth J. Sullivan February 21st 1958 Captain G.O.E. Wallace, 1846 to 1926. I don't know if you can see that really well. I'm loving this.
Christina Feld, born December 18th, 1842, died October 12th, 1919. Idealized and a wonderful mother. May her sweet spirit rest in peace. Damn, this is just insane. And here's the column bearing side, of, kind of like the first one we saw with the really uh, awesome lettering and, and stuff on there. I'm not sure, guys, if this is a humdinger of a video. I may just do it in two parts. Because this is... And if I just do one part, <laughs> hopefully it's worth it for you guys to watch it, because it's definitely worth it for me to come here and film it. These are dim, though. It's kind of hard to see you know, the names and stuff on these, on these because it's like so dim. And show you these like awesome old vintage containers. It's crazy. Maybe I'll try to take some pictures with my phone and see if that comes out any better. There's Fred Rogers, not the Fred Rogers, but it's a Fred Rogers. Let's go to the other side over here. I mean, we have this whole place to so all three sections to ourselves. I think this might just be all uh, cremations over here, strictly. Yeah. Very tight corridors in here. Oh, it looks like there's one there that's missing. It's got a, what is that in there? I can't really tell offhand right, right away. It's a piece of wood or something in there. I'll probably see it when I watch it back as I'm editing. Wagner, Daniel N, 1888 to 1922, Cecilia F, 1893 to 1978, Richard V, 1921 to I guess that's what it would look like to be looking out of one of these things. Damn. God, this place is just incredible. So thank you all so much for watching. And I wanted to give a special shout out to the YouTube channel, Hollywood Graveyard. Um, it was from his awesome video that I was made aware of these sections, of these, these closed, I guess, sort of secret sections of the mausoleum slash columbarium. Um, before his video, I didn't know these existed. And then once I watched his video, I started looking more into it and finding out more about this section, which I think is just stunning and beautiful. And um, damn, it's crazy. I'm going to take some pictures in here for my social media. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and click that bell icon. Therefore, you'll be notified of all of my future uploads. Once again, thank you so much, and it was a pleasure. Talk to you later.